Do you smell that? It smells like, it smells like burning rubber. It smells like burning rubber. Burning rubber. <laughs> Chris, 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 we're gonna burn a little rubber here, not burning chrome, like that classic cyberpunk sci-fi book. Burning rubber, look, take a look at that, my brother. My brother with the rubber, make sure, solid, right? I'm gonna hold this out here in front of the camera. I want you to slip that rubber band, because I could tell you, I could say I'm putting it on, I could even convince you that it looks like it's going on, but I want everyone to know, Chris, put that on there, okay? Just like that. Now watch. It's on there, but notice it's loosely on there. I don't want it loosely on the pencil. I want it tightly on the pencil, so watch. I'm going to give it a twist. I'm going to twist it again. I'm even going to wrap it around like that. Chris, reach over here, right in frame. Grab both ends of the pencil. Okay. I'm not gonna move it from this spot. I know you're trying to focus and try to finish that video game you've been working on, but let's see here, watch, watch this. And I rub, and I rub, and watch. The rubber band is melting. It's melting right through the pencil, proving that sometimes when it comes to real magic, there's a funny smell about it. You will recognize this trick. I used to have uh, a video of this. Uh, it was popular, but I, I do check your comments and every, I read about every fifth or sixth comment, people would say, it's not clear, I keep screwing it up, I'm not quite sure. So this is one of these ones that I love. I think it's a beautiful impromptu trick and I apologize that the original video wasn't as clear as it should be. And I've been doing this for way too long and having too much fun with it. So I felt obliged to show you exactly more clearly how to do this sweet trick. Now, Talk about your impromptu magic. I mean, you need a rubber band, boom. Little one, big one, doesn't really matter. And then pretty much, I mean, I've done this with pencils. You can do it with a marker, you can do it with a drinking straw, you can do it with a hockey stick. I have done this with the planet of Uranus. Had to be done, so you're here. Now, what is very pretty about this is you start so visually and so clean. There's nothing, people are looking, they go, damn, he's got no thumb tips. You put this on there like that. Now you can do it yourself, okay? Or have somebody else do it, or even say, do me a favor, put the, put the rubber band, slip it right in the middle of the pencil and take the pencil back from them. So what a great start. They put it on themselves. How convincing is that, okay? Now, let's really teach this son of a gun because it looks like I just take it, twist it, twist it, and then even twist the rubber band around the pencil and the trick is done. It is done, which I love. You've heard me say it before. I love being so far ahead because that means you can then really gather the energy, the focus, the drama, the tension around the moment. This is a small moment, but you're so far ahead and so done. You could bring in a lighter, okay, to, to add some drama. You could ask a bunch of people who've been drinking a lot of beer to take turns spitting at it. You hold it up here like this, and crying, say, I love you guys so much. Go ahead, go ahead, do you with spitty spit and people are gonna feel badly for you. Step one, put the, the rubber band starts on the pencil, okay? Now notice, you don't want it way down here. That's gonna be a little hard with the technique, but you don't need it to be over on the end because that's suspicious as heck. Just about there. So let's say, I don't know, two inches from the end of the pencil, okay? I'm holding it here and I put my finger on top, okay? Now, I'm gonna reach in, okay? I'm gonna bring my hand up. I'm gonna turn my fingers, I'm gonna put my fingers from my left side in, and I'm gonna twist it once, okay? Keep my finger there, and adjust and twist it twice, okay? Having twisted it twice, I'm gonna now, I want it to look like this. I want it to look like I just wrap it around. But what I actually do, the first wrap is legit. On the second wrap, I make sure it goes over the end of the pencil and I keep going. But, I think you'll agree that it looks so casual. It looks like I'm just twisting it, twisting it, finger on top. This action looks so casual and you can move the pencil too that there is no doubt in anybody's mind you do anything suspicious 
or that ru that rubber band in fact that started on the middle now must be really 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 bound to the middle and yet by doing that taking it off the end action now I can just rub it have someone hold the ends like that maybe uh, uh, an attractive girl can hold the ends sort of between her thighs very intimate magic nice image and then you rub and you can introduce, you can say some magic words, whatever. What you don't want is for them to see it kind of come off. So what I do is I kind of hold my finger and thumb here, loosen my grip a little bit. You could even put your hand over to add some mystery. You don't want the rubber band flying off because it's sort of anticlimactic. But when they see at the end the rubber band melt through, it is one of these very, very pretty, very small, but it can handle the cool thing. I mean, if, it, if it's a small trick and it couldn't handle the heat of everyone staring at it like a minor miracle, then I think it's flawed theater. But in this case, everybody can burn and they get to see impossibly the rubber band melts right through the pencil.